Here are genetic markers for MCL injury. The MCL, medial collateral ligament, is a ligament on the inside of your knee. And you get this kind of injury when you get hit from the outside that can uh, strain or tear your ligament on the inside of your knee. And the idea is that um, when you get hit, some people will have a minor injury, maybe a strain, while their injuries might have, other people might have a more major injury with a tear of the MCL. And, and whether you have a strain or a tear is partly due to genetics. Here you can see that for this person, they have a genetic increased genetic risk for MCL injury. So if the average person has a 4.3% chance of injury, this person had a 14% chance of injury. And this can be, um, you can do protection exercises and you can find that from our prehabilitation uh, section. Here, this uh, genetic risk is based on two markers called single nucleotide polymorphisms, which are spots in your genome where people can be different. So uh, at this one spot called RS803, so sometimes there's a C and sometimes there's a T. This person had one C and one T, one from the mom, one from the dad. T is the one that's giving you increased risk. It's T is only at 1.2% of the time. So it's pretty rare to have a T, but when you do, you have like a 200% relative risk, 100% increased risk for injury. The second marker is RS603 something. And this person had a T and a C where C is the risk allele. And this, the risk allele gave a 60% increased risk. So one T with 100% increased risk and one C with 60% increased risk is how this normal 4% ended up with this amount of increase, 14% increased risk for MCL injury. This page talks about all sorts of exercises. This page talks about all sorts of preventative measures you can take to not let yourself get injured when, uh, now that you're healthy in the preseason. Please send us um, questions you may have uh, through contact us. And remember to train smart so you can play hard.